Capital. Hey, how y'all doing again? I just happened to uh, come on in here and uh, visit an old friend of mine. Uh, I know some of y'all uh, out there probably don't know who I'm talking about, but if you go back on some of my older vi uh, videos, happen to have an old buddy here. And yeah, we stay in contact, we hang out, we talk, we chit chat. And he decided he wanted to uh, surprise me with an extra thing we ended up starting to talk about and I wanted to share. And it has something to do with uh, one of these things right here. And uh, yeah, there's my old boy right there. There's John. Yeah, so uh, I wanted to kind of catch you up on some of the things that we're doing here, or he's doing here. And as I was getting ready, as I was getting ready to leave, he said, "Hold on a second. I need you for a moment." And this is where we're at. So we're gonna go on that note. Do your thing, there, John. Right on, man. All right. So James had asked if I could, uh, at one point in time, make a walking stick. You know something intricate decorative or whatever i've been looking for a piece of uh choke cherry and finally found one at the uh, city recycling i've been going for oh once a week or so and checking it out you can see the end it gets real it gets a real nice dark heart to it and each one of the knots running down the side of this thing will produce a dark spot as well. And we just had him grab it and I marked it with a sharpie so that I know about where his hand is. And that's what I bat practically did, stood like I usually do with this one. Yeah. And uh, he said, that's all I needed. That's about all I needed. <laughs> and I said, well, you know what? Before I leave, I'm going to at least show the before and after of this uh little uh, project that he decided to take on, which I'm actually thrilled and honored, honestly. One thing uh, I'll show you real quick to kind of give you an idea of where it's gonna go from here now that I know where the handle is. Uh, I built this shave horse years ago, years and years ago. I might have to adjust it. Old nails, big nails, and I got some holes drilled in the side so that I can lower the table for bigger or smaller wood. Back. Now, That's mind awesome. You, mind you, I can adjust how far in or out I need it. It doesn't really matter. This will be the walking, the bottom end. That's pretty cool. There's an old bicycle seat. Yeah, I zoomed in on that door. when you jumped off there for a moment. So I can... I, I can made sure I got it in the frame. I pretty cool. adjust my seat. So here's how this works. Look at the foot pedals. I put my feet on there, and this head holds the log in place. Yeah. Then I can take a draw knife and work it and what I'll do is I'll work all the bark off of this thing first right and I'll get it down to something that I want you know something usable once I get it down drawn drawn down usable we'll figure out what kind of design we want to do I've been trying to learn how to make wood spirits right out of cottonwood bark uh-huh uh, and things like that so I might attempt it this is the hardest wood that grows naturally in Wyoming uh, look at those different colors it's uh, it's choke cherry let me get it's gonna be beautiful let me get an end worked off here you can really So I just kind of worked an edge down 
see, you can see the heartwood and how it gets, you know, it changes color and everywhere, everywhere there's a knot, uh, like here, mm -hmm. that'll be a dark spot all the way down. And what's nice about the, the shave horse is you can make square, you make any shape you want uh, from just about any shape. You can just rotate, keep going. That's uh, interesting. That, that really is. And then, I like your contraption. Thanks. I wish I could take credit for it, but I think they've been around for a long time. And we'll, we'll work the whole thing down with the draw knife and shave horse, and then we'll figure out some sort of motif. Yeah, well, thank you. Uh, once again, John, like I said, <laughs> this is uh, honestly an honor, and, and I really can't wait to see the end result of what you uh, develop here, brother. Right well, I'll and keep you posted. I don't know how fast it will go. That's we'll John, man. And once again, you know, here he is, sharing him again on this channel. You all take care. Hey, Mr. Poppy. Yeah, we're still a few miles away. And yeah, he, he knows. He was laying down, but he his nose always knows, just like Toucan Sam. You know, he's got this freaking city. He's got this whole area geologically gridded out with his snout. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Ranch dog. Oh yeah. You sure? Oh, he's mad now. You barked at me this whole time. You didn't listen. Why I gotta listen to you automatically? Huh? <laughs> How's it feel? Yeah. Okay. You ready? Let's go. Come on, Mr. Puppy. Good boy. And that's where we're at on that. Ha, 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 ha.